in the fixed income we are in the term structure and volatilities of interest rate so this topic reviews uh, important information on the construction theoretical underpinning implication of term structure and interest rate so what is a term structure and why is it important is the first question before, before we move formally into the chapter so whenever a company wants to raise that uh, it, it will always cite the debt as uh, the market rate plus something it's same like creating a base and saying how much uh, extra you are going to pay now an intuitive understanding of that is that uh, if if you have some risk of default then uh, the spread that you are giving should justify that default so if you have got 2% of uh, probability of default if somebody invest in you then the return should be uh, very similar as a return into a no default risk free rate so that's kind of a risk neutral probability of default kind of a structure so the whole idea is that you need to understand uh, the yield curve of a 10 year ust bond and the uh, understand what uh, and how we use the libor rates now historically yield curves have taken uh, three fundamental shapes they could be normal which is like moving up they could be flat they could be inverted or moving down so normal yield curve is a curve in which long term rates are greater than the short term rate it's it's like if you invest money more uh, uh, for long time it's better and the inverting is an inverse that don't invest in long term it's it will give you less return then we have parallel and non parallel shift in the yield curve when the yield curve uh, undergoes a parallel shift the yield on all maturities change in the same direction and by the same amount uh your original curve would move in a very parallel way to the new curve and uh, this is uh, quite interesting so when we move ahead we are going to see what could actually happen but the non uh, uh, parallel yield curves could be an original case when the new is more steep or the less is uh, less steep than the earlier one and so on so we have yield curve twist refers to a yield curve change when slope becomes either flatter or steeper a uh, yield curve butterfly butterfly shift refers to a change in the degree of the curvature a position of butterfly means that the yield curve uh, has become less curved uh, for example so a uh, positively butterfly speed versus a negatively butterfly speed and butterfly speed is something that becomes uh, more uh, tricky but uh, that that's close to what happens in real life now describe the factors that uh, drives the us treasury returns and evaluate the important of each one of them so there are many factors which drive the us treasury rate uh, a part of that we do tackle in the economics on how the central banks uh, uh, tackle things there but uh, we need to understand three things uh, change in the level of interest rate parallel shifts in yield curve change in the slope which is twist in the yield curve and change in the curvature which is like the butterfly shift So the Litterman and Shecky man used the R square from a regression analysis to estimate the ability of these three vari variables to explain the total return of six months through eighteen years zero coupon treasury bond. And the result indicated that collectively three factors explain ninety five percent of the total variance. Factor one was change in level of rates. Chapter two was slope change, and factor three was curvature change. Now. Uh, if we recall the duration measures the bond price sensitivity to parallel changes in interest rate because uh, parallel changes is the level of interest rate have a significant influence on treasury return duration is useful for quantifying interest rate risk uh, we also know that uh, uh, the key rate duration which is used to quantify bond pricing sensitivity to change in bond price uh, yield curve because change in shape of the yield curve non parallel shift also impact treasury return key rate duration to supplement the information provided by duration when measuring interest rate risk exposures so then we move ahead into something called the spot curve or the bootstrapping suppose you want to know the required rate of fixed income return with 7 years in order to estimate the current price your first impulse would be to look at the current rate of us treasury with 7 year to maturity however this uh, uh, methodology ignores all characteristics of bond except maturity so suppose a 7 year treasury security are interested in pricing has a coupon rate of 9% and if you look at the universe of the second treasury and you will find the different issuers with different coupon rates which one is correct so unfortunately the answer is that none of them are correct in order to calculate price of fixed security you need the spot rate of each um, cash flow so recall that spot rate is the rate prevailing of zero coupon bond with the same time maturity everything constant so hence to value a 7 year 9% coupon bond you need the uh, spot rates of uh, each foreign coupon payments and spot rate of uh, a return of these uh, payments in obtain in order to obtain this uh, you need to construct a theoretical uh, spot rate curve for the treasury securities bootstrapping spot rates from yield on coupon treasury uh, 
uh, it's 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 a simple part however because bootstrapping is necessary for understanding the issues surrounding for the construction of portrait uh, let's uh, give a little time on to this one bootstrapping is the process of sequentially calculating spot rates from securities with different maturities using yields on a treasury bond from a yield curve so treasury bond yields will, will bootstrap and will get the treasury spot rate curve for example a 6 month usually uh, us treasury bill has an annualized yield of 4% us uh, One year strip as an analyst of four point five percent. So we will uh, just use uh, uh, that to and other kind of things to actually create a six month, twelve month, and eighteen month spot rate. Then we have the next topic here, uh, which talks about uh, the treasury securities that are used to construct uh, the theoretical spot. Uh, Uh, rate curve and evaluate their advantages and disadvantages. There are four common securities that can be used to construct the theoretical treasury spot rate. Uh, we have all on the run securities, all on the run and some of the run securities, all uh, all treasury bond notes and bills, and treasury strips. After the explanation of each combination of treasury securities, the summary of uh, uh, each one of them is what we are interested at. So we'll probably go into this into the next video. Uh, before that i would like to just talk about what we have coming here so that you just have an idea about the topics so after that we need to understand the swap rate curve or the libor rate and why banks use them instead of the one year uh, bond so uh, the swap rate curve also known as libor rate is a series of swap rate quoted by swapping dealers maturity extends to 2 to 10 years and what are some of the reason then we'll explain things like uh, Uh, uh what are the theories that explains the particular shape of the yield curve then we'll look at the key rate duration and barbell ladder portfolio and bullet portfolios so those were the things that we'll look at in the next time